What's up, y'all? Uh, thought I'd do a quick uh, deck profile for my Six Samurai deck. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, we're going to go through the main deck first, and then we're going to go through uh, the extra deck. Uh, we're going to go through the Six Samurai monsters first. So I, I run two different archetypes. I run Six Samurai and True Draco. True. Yeah, True King, True Draco, whichever one you want to call it, it uses both. So anyway, uh, I run one of Hatsume. Good, because you can banish two mon two six samurai monsters, special summon one from the grave. Uh, I run two Genba uh, for one or for two reasons, because he's a tuner and he's also sending fodder. Uh, I run two Kizaru. Uh, because of his effect, if he's I use I use mostly his first effect. If he's special summoned, add a six samurai monster from deck to hand, as long like as long as you control a different element. Let me rephrase that. You can add to you can. I cannot speak. It's five o'clock in the morning. I haven't been to sleep yet. Kizaru's effect. I use mostly mostly. I use him mostly for his first effect. If he's special summoned, you can add from deck to hand a six samurai as long as you don't already control that element. Jeez, that's not really hard to say. Oh my word. Okay. Uh, I run two Kizan. Kizan's a great extender. Uh, I run two Kageki. Uh, just for the simple fact, you know, special or normal summon him, special summon a level 4 lower monster. Great for getting some monsters out. Uh, I run 2 red Mizuho and 2 blue Shinai. Uh, these two go hand in hand. As long as you control one or the other, you can special summon the other from hand. Or you can use her effect, tribute him or her, whichever one this is. And pop a monster. This is tribute. Pop a monster on your opponent's side. That is. This if Shinai is tributed, you can add from graveyard to hand a six samurai except for Shinai. So great for getting monsters back. Uh, and of course, no deck is complete without legendary. Sorry, I keep getting confused. Without secret six samurai Fuma. Unfortunately, I don't have the Fuma cards in possession, so I just I just proxy three copies. I run three instead of two. It's the only card in the deck that I run three of. Uh, I use them most. I use them mostly for his first effect. Um, if it's destroyed by a card effect or battle, special summon a six samurai monster from deck, except for Fuma. Now, if you're unfamiliar with him, he is a level one wind tuner with, I believe, 200 attack and 2,000 defense. All right, so that's it for six samurai card or six samurai monsters. Now we're going to go ahead and hop into the True King, True Draco cards. Monsters, that is. Uh, I run two of the Mariamne True Draco Phoenix. Good because you can add a non windworm from deck to hand if she's destroyed by card effect. Also, you can pop two monsters on your side of the field and special summon, but one of them has to be wind. If both monsters were wind, then you can banish the top four cards of your opponent's deck, so that's not that bad at all. Uh, I run two Barastos, uh, True King Barastos, the Fathermer. Uh, same special summoning effect as Mariamne, except one has to be water. And if both were water, then you can, I believe, banish up to two spell and or traps from either the field and or graveyard. So that's pretty great for getting rid of back row or front row if you need to. And uh, True King Agnimazud, the Vanisher, once again, uh, same special summoning effect, except one needs to be fire. And if both monsters were fire... Um, you can banish one monster from either the field or graveyard on your opponent's side. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention with Barastos is if he's destroyed by card effect, you can special summon a non-water worm from deck. If he is destroyed by card effect, 
uh, Agnima Zood, you can add from graveyard to hand a non fire worm. Alright, so that's it for the oops. That's it for the main deck monsters. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the spell and trap. Um, I only one run. I only one run one trap, and that's True King's Return. Uh, I use it for its first effect. Is uh, when you activate it, you can special summon a True King or True Draco card from the graveyard in defense position. Uh, I run. Five different equip spells just for uh, a card in the extra deck known as the Souls, which we'll get into the Souls effect later. So, but it, uh, it can be any equip spell as long as it's not banned. Uh, but for those who are wondering, I run DDR, a Different Dimension, Reincarnation, Broken Bamboo Sword, Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, Evil Eye Selene, and Overdone Burial. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, Draconic Diagram, of course. Uh, pop a card in your hand. And add a True King or True Draco card from deck to hand. And it's really good. works really well with Fuma. Like I said, you know, Fuma is destroyed by a battle or card effect. Special summon a 6 Samurai from deck. That's not Fuma. Uh, one Terraform, of course, to search out. Dragonic Diagram, if we don't already have it. Uh, double or nothing. Uh, basically it allows you to double the attack of a Utopia. Uh, or just any monster, really. But I use it mostly for Utopia, which we'll, I'll get into that later. Uh, monster Re, Monster Reborn. Honestly, it's very good to have in any deck. Special summon a monster from either person's graveyard. Uh, Shein's Dojo, I run two of, uh, just for the simple fact that it holds counters, but uh, you can send it to the graveyard and special summon a monster whose level is equivalent to the amount of counters or lower that the card had, and you get counters by normal or special, in some, special summoning six samurai. Uh, I run two Shein Smoke Signal. Uh, as a level 3 or lower 6 samurai from deck to hand. Uh, I run one Rota, reinforcement of the army, uh, adds a level 4 or lower warrior type monster from deck to hand. Uh, I run two 6 samurai united uh, for two reasons. For one, it holds counters and it only holds up to a maximum of two, but that's fine. Uh, you can send it to the graveyard and draw a equal amount of cards that, or draw the amount of cards that was equivalent to how many counters a card has. Uh, this card has, which is again maximum of two, so you can only draw two cards off of one. Uh, Asceticism of the six allows you to get another six samurai out on field, even even if it's just for that one turn. It works. Uh, target a six samurai that you have. Um, Special summon a, a six samurai with a different name but same attack from the deck. So it's good to get another monster out on the field if you need it to go into another to like extend your play if you're able to, or if not, uh, target Kageki. Special summon Fuma. They have the same attack, different names. Just end your turn. Uh, one of the things it does is at the end of the turn it destroys the monster that was special summoned and bam, Fuma gets his effect. And of course, any 6 samurai deck is not complete without Gateway of the 6, the most busted card in the deck. Basically, it allows you to potentially infinitely special summon 6 samurai. And also potentially beef up your 6 samurai's attack. Like, I won't say indefinitely, but by a lot. So anyway, that's it for the main deck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the video doing the deck profile, which is what this is, and then I'll do a separate video for combos and whatnot. And I'll explain the end goal for this deck. This deck has two end goals, and I'll explain how you can get to them in the other video. 
Alright, so we're going to go into the extra deck. I run 13 cards in the extra deck, uh, just for the simple fact, because I don't really have anything else that would really work for 6 Samurai. So we're going to start off with XYZ Monsters. Uh, number 41, Baguska, is really good if you're trying to, I mean, I guess, stall for time, since it puts all monsters on both sides of the field, except for links and those that are unaffected by card effects, into defense. If it's in, if it's in defense, that is. Uh, next is Kachi Kachi Dragon. I feel like this is really good to have. It's helped me out quite a bit. Um, if it destroys a monster in battle, you can detach a material and make a second attack. So it's, I mean, it's also it's also a 25, so you could potentially do a lot of damage with it. Uh, next up, we have number 39 Utopia Double and number 39 Utopia. Utopia allows you to negate attacks. This allows you to search out double or nothing and then slap Utopia on with double the attack. Putting Utopia at uh, 5k instead of 2500. Uh, the last XYZ card is, of course, you, it would be wrong for me not to have it. Uh, True King of All Calamities. Uh, Basically, call out uh, an element. Uh, all monsters on the field become that element. Uh, monsters that your opponent control with that element cannot attack or activate effects. Also, if you were to basically any like true Draco or true King card that would uh, like their effects were like destroy or tribute or whatever to special summon, you could use your opponent's monsters instead. So that's not a bad card to have. Uh, for links, uh, we have Assault. Uh, great for warrior decks, uh, basically, or just any. I want to say, is it warrior? Yeah, yeah. Great for warrior decks. Uh, as soon as the special summons, uh, add from deck to hand a warrior type. Just can't use it, or uh, a different card with the same name. Uh, or you can also send equip spells and then special summon a monster whose level is equivalent to the number of equip spells that you sent to the graveyard. Uh, I run two Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. Uh, I run two for the simple fact it counts as a Six Samurai summon, so you can get counters off of it, as well as it allows you to search off that allows you to search for a gateway. And the reason, why, another reason why we're in two, is it allows you to search by getting a second one out. Uh, you have to wait till your next turn to do it, though. But by getting a second one out on the next turn, you can also get the other one that holds the most counters, Sheehan's Dojo. Uh, oh, I gotta sneeze. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, these two, these next two cards work really well with six samurai, seeing as how many monsters you can get out. We got Boral Sword Dragon. Boral Sword Dragon can uh, can OTK really hard. Uh, basically, uh, after you attack, target a monster on your side, turn it defense, and it can attack again. It being the Boral Sword Dragon. Um, it's already at 3k B stick, so that's potentially 6,000 damage right there. Uh, next up is the Boral Sword Dragon. Uh, Again, it can be very easy to get out with the six samurai deck. Uh, its main effect that I worry about that I that I use is as long as you as long as the arrows point to an open slot, you can take control of one of your opponent's monsters as long as it's not affected by card effects. Uh, next up on the list is Soyuja, of course. Um, I've seen some people run to I don't remember if it's limited down to one now or not, I don't remember. But I just keep it at one because that's all I need. Uh, what was its very first effect? Oh yeah, uh, if you use two different monsters to get them out, uh, two monsters with different names that is, uh, and if it points to a, uh, a spot that it's on, that it points to, it gets 300 attack and defense, three monsters with three different names, allows you to special summon a monster from your hand to the field once per turn. 
and four monsters with four different names allows you to draw four cards, put three back. It can also it can very much potentially unbreak your hand if you absolutely need it. Oh my word! There is a mouse down here underneath my bookshelf. <laughs> Uh, the last uh, link card is Decode Talker. Decode Talker, honestly, I feel like it's just really good if, if for any deck, to be honest, just simply because you know it it can get you started uh, if you're having some trouble or whatever. That and uh, you can you can tribute one of mon one of your monsters that it points to negate and destroy or negate an activation. Oh no no no! Sorry, my apologies. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards, you can quick effect, I believe, yeah, tribute one of your monsters that it points to, negate and destroy the card. So that's it for linked monsters. Uh, as for synchro, I only, I only run one, and that would be legendary six samurai Shien. Uh, just for the simple fact, it's a, it's a once per turn spell or trap negation. So, oh man. Anyway, so that's it for the deck, for both the main deck and the extra deck. I don't run a side deck. I probably should, but I just haven't bothered to make one up. Granted, I don't have anything really good that would go good for a side deck. So, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if this is something that you guys want to try out, that would be awesome. Um, or like if, if you're, you know, gonna if, like if you want to try this out and you have some questions, feel free to message and ask. Um, or if you have questions on how to get certain cards out, again, feel free to ask, message, comment, whatever. And I'll be happy to help you guys out. So uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, have a good night.